And what's going on, everyone? Team Rival back once again. I bet you didn't think I was going to finish this. Did you? But, no. I'm going to try to finish this. I'm going to try to finish this. And I'm going to try to finish Cowboy Bebop, I know. With Let's Plays, I can be a bit lackadaisical. So, anyway, back to the game. What's going on in the game? Uh, my mouse froze, I remember. I haven't played this game in a little while. Uh, it froze at this point. I don't know how to fix that. I have no clue what the, the problem is. I think it's just the fact that piece of shit game. I would like to have an actual, I'm using my, the pointer mouse, the, uh, and it's fucking just annoying, but, alright, so we had to do this puzzle, I had to put this together so we could figure out what, uh, this guy Lou's last name was, and so, this puzzle was a pain in the ass to put together, simply because, let me just finish it up here, of the fact that, A, these pieces have to be in exactly, and I mean exactly, in there, so like so, you do that, slide those in there, and then you go out, and you would never know because B, the problem with this game is that it never gives you an indication that you finished the puzzle in any of the puzzles. I took, I looked it up because I finished the puzzle, puzzle when I was waiting for like a little ding -di ding or something. And I didn't get that. So you got the names Landolf, Mulhaven, Finsterlau, and Fisterwald. So, okay. Now we have to go and call, what's his name? I think his name is Louie or something. We gotta call him. We gotta see what's up. Because we got the name. And we go there. So we go back to the bar. Yada, yada, yada. Go skip that, skip that. Go right in the bar. So... Things have been going pretty well in my life. I got sick this past uh, week for quite a few days. So I was going to record then, actually. I was planning on it. I remember I made a bulletin on fucking on YouTube about it, and I got sick, like, that that next day or so. So now we have to call Louie again. So I uh, have a few more. I'm going to try to finish this up. Relatively soon, I'm gonna try to record like two hours a week of this game until it's done. I think we're almost. Nah, I don't know. Maybe a quarter of the way through, I think. So that's pretty good. Uh, then we'll, we'll finish up Cowboy Bebop. I'll do two hours a week. I will try. Like I said, I have other priorities that I need to, to take care of. Get to put Louie. I think his name was Fish Derwall. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try there, thanks. Looks like I finally found Louie. There we go. So we found Louie. Great. And so, I've had this... So, like I said, I've just been going out, taking care of other stuff, playing other games. I've been playing Sukadin 1 on PS1 which I might actually do a review of, like a video review, my first ever, like, official video review. I know I've reviewed games in the past, but I've never done it in the style that I'm going to try to do this game. So once I finish that game, I'll get my impressions on that. I have a few, mo a few more reviews I'd like to do. I'm trying to get back on my game with the channel. I know I've been kind of off. I kind of took a little personal vacation or whatever, going to the Raven Room. I don't know how many of you guys actually watch this Let's Play. Uh, those of you that do... That's cool, I'm glad you do. I'm gonna, you know, the problem with making Let's Plays is I kind of want to do games that not too many people have heard of, or, you know, just to give them an, an idea of something that might be different than just your typical Call of Duty, Halo, you know, Let's Plays that you see a dime a dozen. Alright, so let's click on that. Hello? I'm sorry, I was hoping you might be able to help me. I'm looking for a man named Louis Fisterwald. Is he here? Uh, what did you say your name was? Oh, quick, think on your feet, boss. Uh, I didn't. Uh, Hank Finster sent me. He had a message he wanted me to deliver to Louis. He's reconsidered Louis's offer. Felon doing an admission. Okay, so that's that. We have to get something before we leave. I believe it is under.
real quick. Yeah, get that. Good detective work, Hoss. There you go. Very nice. Okay. So we got that. Gotta check out that holy card. Click on it. There you go. What's this? Looks like someone's been spending some time at St. Bartholomew's mission. So that's where we're headed. St. Bartholomew's mission. So it's a, it's a popsicle stand. Let's go right here. Skip this. Oh god, it's fucking dumbass fucking fucker. Oh, look at that face. Excuse me, my name's Jim Pearson. I'm from the COI. I was hoping you might be able to help me. Sure, mister. I'll help you if I can. I've just got a couple of questions for you. Oh, all right. I'll help you if I can. You already said that, you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> Do you know a fella named Louie? Sure, I know Louie. Do you know where you I might be able to find him? Yeah, he works at the Raven Room. He's a doorman. Say, why are you looking for Louie? I've just got a few questions for him. Oh, oh, I thought maybe he'd gotten into trouble. He get into trouble a lot? Yeah, yeah, Louie's always getting into trouble. But I shouldn't be talking about that. Why shouldn't you say anything about that? I don't rat on friends. That guy was my friend. He, I'd kill myself. How long have you known Louie? Dead oh, Louie and me go way back. You don't say. Yeah, since we was kids. Louie's always looking out for me. He even got me this here job. This Louie sounds like a swell guy. Oh, he's the best. So, you want to see something? Sure, why not? He's got a gun! Louie even got me introduced to Gloria the Mill. Got my picture well, you know taken with her and everything. Say, that sure is a nice picture. Who are those other fellas? Are they friends of Louie's. They're all killers. They're all the killers. Ask him what he does. What do you do here, friend? I help the fathers with the place. Keeping things up, that sort of thing. Jack of all trades, huh? Yeah, I guess. Mostly, I help out with the hobos. Make sure there's no trouble. You, uh, you see a lot of trouble in here? No, not really. Mostly, I play cards. Alright. A lot of people come through here, I bet. Oh, yeah. Especially now, what with everyone afraid of the torso killer. No one wants to sleep by himself anymore. Hasn't anyone been able to help? No. Nah, they just try to get rid of the poor hobos. Why, just last month, Mr. Ness burned down their camps. Said he was trying to smoke out the killer, but all he did was burn down their homes. Well, I think it's a mighty decent job you're doing here, friend. Thanks, mister. Oh, he's coming on. Alright, let's get out of here. I can't deal with anymore with this fucking barney-ass bozo idiot. Alright, so we find out we have to go back to the museum. Talk to her. I think she said that she translated those parchment sheets. Didn't I give those to her? I believe I did. I gave her those parchment sheets. Or not. It said that she translated those fucking parchments. But I guess not. Whatever. We'll leave. I don't really care. So now we have to go to the Raven Room. Once again, maybe we will be back this time. Doesn't look like it though. I had to open the door myself. Click on here. See if he has anything to say. Hello? Let's click on it again. Hello? No. <laughs> so 
exactly the same scene. So did I collect everything in this room? I think I did. Oh, here we go. Dear honored guests, welcome to the Raven Room. Cleveland's presenter. Da -da -da. That's just bullshit. Oh, we have some names. Let's click on all the names, see if we can get anything. Shit. 